hello friends how are you hope you people are doing good and you are preparing well so we come up with some questions and we will see some question on computer architecture and related topics so be with us and we will start which of the following is equal to 4 bits options are byte nibble record all of the above so guys correct option is b nibble nibble is correct option a group of 4 bytes half of the a group of 4 bits ok it is called 4 bits equal to half byte ok it is called nibble ok next question what does 1000 bytes represent kilobyte megabyte gigabyte terabyte correct option is a kilobyte ok 1 kb equal to 1024 bytes ok next question what is the content of stack pointer it is important stack pointer options are address of the top element in the stack address of the current instruction address of next instruction none of the above the correct option is a address of the top element in the stack the stack pointer contains the address of the top element of the data stored in the stack. A stack can be defined as a container in which insertion and deletion can be done from one end known as the top of the stack. So guys, a stack is insertion and at the same end deletion will be there. Okay. next is an n bit processor has n bit instruction register n bit address register n bit program counter none of the above the correct option is a n bit instruction register next is which of the following is the operation executed on data stored in registers byte operation bit operation macro operation micro operation so doska dosto correct option is d micro operation next question what does a computer bus line consist of set of parallel lines accumulators registers none of the above correct option is a set of parallel lines a bus consists of set of common lines for one for each bit of register through which binary information is transferred one at a time control signal determines which register is selected by the bus during a particular particular register transfer ok friends hope you got it which of the following is the circuit board on which chips and processor are placed called master circuit motherboard big board none of the above the option is b b option is correct motherboard the motherboard is generally a circuit board that holds together almost all parts of computer except input and output devices each motherboard has a chipset which is the collection of controllers and chips all crucial hardware like CPU, memory, hard, hard drive and ports for the input and output devices are located on the motherboard 
which of the following computer register collects the result of computation accumulator instruction pointer storage register none of the above the correct option is a accumulator accumulator is 8 bit register accumulator is 8 bit register associated with the ALU register A is accumulator in 8085 it is used to hold one of the operands of arithmetic and logical operation the final result of an arithmetic and logical operation is also placed in the accumulator the accumulator is in 8085 it is called as A register CISC stands for Complex Instruction Set Computer Complete Instruction Sequential Compilation Complex Instruction Sequential Compiler None of the above So guys answer is First A Complex Instruction Set Computer CISC, is, CISC it developed by Intel CISC is developed by Intel. It has a large collection of complex instruction that range from simple to very complex and specialized in the assembly language levels which takes a long time to execute the instruction. Ok guys. Which of the following is function of control unit in the CPU? it stores program instruction it decodes program instructions it performs logical operation none of the above the option is second it decodes program instruction control unit takes instruction from memory and then decodes and executes these instruction it controls and coordinates the function of all parts of the computer the control unit's main task is to maintain and regulate the flow of information across the processor. Ok guys, got it. Next question. In, win in which of the following term, the performance of a cache memory is measured? Chat ratio, hit ratio, copy ratio, data ratio. Dosto, option correct is hit ratio second option the performance of the cache memory is frequently measured in terms of a quantity called hit ratio when the CPU refers to memory finds the word in a cache it's said to produce a hit the ratio of the number or number of hits divided by the total CPU references to memory hit plus miss is the hit ratio ok guys next question what does EEPROM stands for yani double E prom E square prom stands for electrically erasable and programmable read only memory electronically erasable and programmable read only memory electrically enabled and programmable read only memory none of the above guys correct option is electrically erasable programmable read only memory option 1 it is used to erase stored data using a high voltage electric charge and reprogrammed it it is erased and reprogrammed electrically without using a ultraviolet light ok guys so it is impro important Sometimes it is called E square PROM. Okay. Next question is RISC stands for Reduced Instruction Set Computer, RISC Instruction Sequential Compilation, RISC Instruction Source Compiler, none of the above. So, guys, correct answer is 
first one reduce instruction set computer RISC stands for reduce instruction set computer processor a microprocessor architecture with a simple collection and highly customized set of instruction it is built to minimize the instruction execution time by optimizing and limiting the number of instructions okay guys next question which of the following is an essential data transfer technique MMA DMA CAD CAM so guys correct option is DMA okay what is DMA stands for what is DMA stands for sometimes ask this uh, full form also direct direct memory access guys data memory access for a direct memory access is called DMA DMA data transfer scheme data is directly transformed from IO device to RAM or from RAM to IO so it is RAM RAM to IO or IO to RAM it is called DMA got it next which of the following is page fault page fault occurs when a program accesses a page number page of another program page fault occurs when a program accesses a page in a main memory page fault occurs when there is an error in a particular page page fault occurs when a program accesses a page which is not present in the main memory the guys options 4 is correct page fault occurs when a program accesses a page which is not not present in a main memory okay so there will be a miss and the concept is called page missing or page fault the cpu has to access the missed page from the secondary memory if the number of page fault is very high then the effective access time of the system will be will become very high got it next question what does dram stands for dynamic read access memory digital random access memory dynamic dynamic random access memory dynamic read allocation memory the correct option is c third option dynamic random access memory that is important also DRAM is type of RAM that is used for dynamic storage of the data in RAM okay, each cell carries one bit information only ok guys the last question of today which of the following is known as a step by step procedure to solve a problem graph table algorithm none of the above so guys step by step procedure is called algorithm a finite set of instruction that is specify a sequence of operation is to be carried out to solve a specific problem or class of problem called algorithm okay guys so that's all for the day and hope you enjoyed this and you have learned some concept or something so guys keep watching videos study well and have a good day bye bye take care